Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, we will take a look at the top 10 new features that were introduced with the iOS 8, which was just announced at the June 2014 keynote. Now, the iOS 8 will be available for consumers this fall, but if you have an Apple developer's account, you can go download the pre release beta right now. So let's take a look at the new iOS 8 and go over the newest features. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel for full iOS 8 coverage to discover more tips, tricks and tutorials. You will also find a link in the description below to my full iOS 8 videos both on the iPhone and the iPad. Alright so the first thing we're going to take a look at is the messaging app and the enhancements that they made to it. So let's go inside and uh, let me send myself a test message. Okay so let's click send. And what happens is you get a notification on the top. What you can do is you can pull this down, okay, and you can respond right then and there. So you can go, okay, click send. Oops, there we go. So that is absolutely perfect. If you were in a different app, if you were in the App Store and somebody sent you a message and you got the pop-up, you could have just responded right from the top over here. Alrighty. Now the other thing you can do is if you pull down the lock screen and uh, if you go to, let me send myself one more message. So another test. Click send. So let's ignore this. Let's wait for this to actually disappear for a second here. Let's get out of here. Okay. So if you pull down the notification center and if you pull it over and go to notifications, your messages actually show up here, which is normal. But what, what you can do from here is you can swipe to the left and you actually have the option to say mark as read or reply right from the notification screen. Okay, so this can be done in the lock screen as well. In fact, let me just show that to you. Here's a lock screen, pull it down, swipe to the left, click reply, Click OK. Let's just do OK. Click Send. And you're done. And you can do it from here as well. OK. So let me just do Mark as Red. So let's go back into the iPhone. And the next thing I want to show you is if you change the way that you get your notifications, which happens if you go to Settings, uh, go to Notifications, go to Messages, and instead of getting the banner notifications, switch over to the alerts. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like if you get a message. So if you go to messages, test. So this time what you're going to see is you're going to see uh, a pop-up. So you can click reply, which is actually going to give you another pop-up, which you can use to reply to that message. So let me just RE send. Alrighty. So no matter where you are in what app you are, whether you have the banner notifications or whether you have the alerts, you can respond right on the spot with the new messaging application. Now, the other thing that you can do under the messaging app is you can send voice messages to your conversation. Okay. So all you want to do is you want to tap this little voice recorder icon over here. So tap and hold start recording your voice message let it go you can preview to play okay and then when you're ready to send you just press this up arrow if you do not want to send it after you previewed it you can click X it deletes the message so let's do one more test test let it go preview the message by pressing the play button and then press this up arrow to send it to your um, the person that you're having a conversation with. And then he can or you can or she can listen by tapping this play button. And the final thing I'm going to show you on the messaging app is you can now quickly add a video message or a picture to your conversation. So you want to tap and hold this guy. Okay. And then you can press red button. To start recording your um, video message. When you're done, press this, 
you can preview your um, your video by pressing that um, play button pause it when you're ready press the up arrow and that is going to send your video message over to your um, friend all right so the next feature now when you normally double tap your home screen what happens is you get the multitasking pane and from here you can switch between your current applications that were running in the background now with iOS 8 what they did was they added a, another uh, option on the top here where you get access to your most recent contacts okay and if you tap on one of these guys it allows you to call them send them a text message or do a FaceTime with them right from here okay so let me go back here you can scroll through and then if you have favorites added to your contacts you'll have the favorites show up right on the top here as well and you can swipe over to them alright so the other thing I want to show you guys is the addition that they made to the camera uh, application so there's two new things in the camera application first one is so let's just do allow now the first one is they added a self timer in the camera app so if you tap this self timer on the top you get the option to choose from three seconds 10 seconds or off if you choose three seconds if you take a picture it is going to count down three seconds before it takes the picture okay so let's uh, turn that off and the other thing that they did was if you swipe over you get the video mode if you swipe over one more time you get the slow motion mode which you, which we already have now the newest mode that they added was the time lapse mode now using the time lapse mode you can take time lapse videos okay if you do not know what time lapse videos are just go to Google and do a search and you will see how amazing those things can be already so with the iPhone you can do a time lapse video right from your phone alright so let's uh, move on to the next feature so if you go home and if you launch the photos app let's just go to recently added photos and let's pull up a photo that we just took okay so what they did was they added some new editing tools which are going to allow you to modify the light in a photo with a single control so you can adjust the overall overall brightness you can adjust the color and you can even individually fine-tune some really precise details let's take a look at it so let's click edit okay and at the bottom here you'll see this light icon if you tap it okay what you can do is you can tap on light and now you can change the brightness by using this dial on the phone alrighty now if you want to individually if you want to go into details and be more precise in your editing what you can do is you can tap this button over here which is going to give you the individual settings that make the whole okay so either you can individually tweak these options brightness okay or you can do it the way they want you to do it which is all options are controlled automatically so this is the light setting you can increase the brightness high or low if you want more detail tap this button you can change the contrast the exposure the highlights and the shadows alrighty and the other thing you can do let's put this down is change the color settings so tap on color and then just let's colorize this photo a little bit more so if you as you can see the colors get stronger and stronger but as you make the colors stronger in the background there's other stuff that is being changed so again if you tap this icon right here it's going to give you the individual options that are making that change possible which is contrast and vibrancy and again if you tap these guys you can change the contrast individually for more precision if you want to go back to the generic settings tap that tap on color and now you're back in the color mode and of course once you're done you click done right over here it's gonna save your photo and if you want to edit this there's some other options you can do a crop okay so this already was a part of uh, the iOS 7 so I'm not gonna go over this this is the um, this light icon is the new option that they just added so you can tweak the brightness and the colors alright so the next feature is called quick type 
what that is is it allows you to now do predictive typing so if I'm typing anything over here let's say let's it's gonna give me recommendations on the top right here which previously on iOS 7 was not possible so you tap this let's go tap that to the gym alrighty so now you have the uh, option to do predictive typing using quick type alright so the next feature I want to go over is the improved spotlight search functionality which shows you search results directly from pl places like uh, Wikipedia or even iTunes store and much more so let me do a demonstration let's pull this down and it's just like uh, iOS 7 but now let's say you want to search for Napoleon okay so Napoleon and what happened was it recognized that Napoleon is an important figure and is trying to give me a suggestion to go to Wikipedia and read about about Napoleon so if I tap that it's gonna actually give me a quick uh, preview right from Wikipedia and I can scroll down and I can tap see full article which is gonna launch safari.com I'm sorry safari so let's go back out here and of course with the spotlight search you can still search all your apps all the contents in your phone including messages and emails but that has been standard in iOS 7 anyway okay but but the Wikipedia stuff is the new feature okay so there has been some feature enhancements on the mail application so if you go inside the mail application and just uh, look at any message what you, you what you have now is when you swipe to the left you get three options you can click more you can flag this email or you can trash this email so let's trash this email and then the other thing you can do is if you swipe to the right you can actually just tap mark as red and that's going to allow you to mark it as red and then the final thing I'm going to show you guys is if you swipe all the way to the left with one straight swipe the email gets deleted automatically okay so swipe email is gone swipe slowly release and release and then you get the options you can trash it you can mark his mark it as unread so if you pull to the right you always get that option you can either do mark as unread or mark as read now the final thing I'm going to show you guys on the mail application is when you're composing a message okay you can actually pull this message down just in case you want to go to another message and grab some content from there to put it back in the new message that you just composed so when you swipe it down it goes down here you tap it comes right up so you can send this down and up as you please make sure to subscribe to my channel for full iOS 8 coverage to discover more tips tricks and tutorials you will also find a link in the description below to my full iOS 8 videos both on the iPhone and the iPad